In this lesson, we're going to cover shared sketches. The file that I have open is called sharedsketch.ipt, and it can be found in your Chapter 7 Exercise folder. For this example, it's a very simple geometry, but what I'm trying to replicate is maybe this information was brought in from uh, maybe an AutoCAD file where it was just a top view. And what I'm trying to represent here is maybe this is going to be a plate with a cylinder extruded above it. So in this case, if I would just go back and extrude this out, if I just hit E for extrude and take that information, of course I'm going to get a hole right in the center. So I'm going to undo that. So that's not what I want to do. So this is how shared sketches can help solve this problem. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude. But in this case, I'm going to grab both entries here. And I'm going to uh, reverse the direction, click OK. So right now I have that plate. So if I go back and expand the extrusion, you'll see sketch one is right on top. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on sketch one. And then I'm going to come back down and I'm going to click on share sketch. So what this is going to allow me to do is basically reuse that sketch. So again, if I come back now, click on extrude. Now I'm just going to take that circle and let's extrude that up 20 millimeters. So now with the shared sketch, you'll see that I have another entry in the browser. And the new symbol there is designating that it is shared. So what does that mean? If I would change any of the dimensions on any of the sketches here. So in this case, let's go back and make that 40. And we'll change this to 40 as well. Do an update. Everything updates there. Being that it's the exact same sketch, no matter what I change, everything is going to update accordingly. Just as shown here. So the visibility of that sketch is on right now. So what I can do is I can just right click, turn off its visibility if I don't want to see that any longer. But it doesn't matter in which one of these extrusions I go back and try to edit, you'll notice that they're both tied to the exact same sketch. So in this case, I'll edit the sketch one under extrusion two. And let's change the value back to 30 and 30 there as well. And do an update. And you can see, again, everything updates because they are basically in this case, shared off the exact same sketch.